Hello and welcome to this short tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export a chart from Apple's Keynote software in the correct format so that we can import it into a project in Final Cut Pro. There are many plugins available for Final Cut Pro that allow you to create charts to visualize data. However, some of them can be expensive. The simple method allows you to create charts using the inbuilt tools that come with Apple's Keynote software to create charts that you can then embed into your projects in Final Cut Pro. The first step is to make sure that our canvas is the correct size. So I'll go across to Documents, I'll select Screen Size, Custom Screen Size. Now here we can see we have a 1920 by 1080 project, a 1080p screen resolution, which will be absolutely perfect for our project. The next thing we should do is bring in a chart object. Now we can do that by selecting the chart button and the type of chart that we want. In this case, a 3D pie chart. Now I'm just gonna center the chart in the middle of the screen. It doesn't have to be accurate, but the guides do help. And then we can actually start to edit the chart and or look, change its look and feel. So I quite like that. Uh, let's edit some of the data. Now this chart is just the default settings, but we can change this to represent whatever data we want. Now there is one caveat. Whatever chart you create, you cannot have the color green in it. The reason is, is we're going to use the keying software in Final Cut Pro to remove the background and it will remove anything that is green. So in this case, we need to change the color of this wedge. We can do that by selecting the individual wedge. We have to click twice and we'll see, looking at the handles, that the wedge is highlighted. We'll go across to Format, to Style, and we can change the color of the wedge. In this case, I think a nice purple color will do. The last thing I want to do before we start to animate the chart is to remove the uh, labels that are on the chart. Now, to do this, click out of the wedge and then select the entire pie chart and untick values. And there we go, we don't have any values left in our pie chart. So the last thing to do is to animate it. Now I want this pie chart to grow wedge by wedge in a circular motion. So I'm gonna select the whole project. I'm gonna go up to the top here to animate. I'm gonna select build in and click add an effect. Now there are lots of different effects and you can, you can preview them all, but the one we want for this particular project is called 3D Grow. So I'll select 3D Grow and you can see there in the preview what happened. The, the project grew the pie chart in a circular motion all at once. But I actually want it to go wedge by wedge with a small pause between each one. And we can do that by changing the delivery method. So this time I'll select by wedge. And if we preview it again this time, you'll see there is a small pause between each section. Now you can adjust the duration of this, but that's much easier to do in Final Cut. So I would just leave that as the default for now. Now the last step, as I said, is we need to have a background that we can remove. Now the simplest way to do that is to change the background color of the entire project to green. Now it will look very strange in your keynote project, a bright green background. However, Final Cut can use this to key this out to give us a transparent background. So the last thing to do is to export the project as a QuickTime file, select the right resolution, leave everything else as the default. You don't need to change any of that at this point. We'll call it 3D pie chart and we'll save it out onto our desktop. Once that's complete, we can switch across to Final Cut. Now in this case, I already have a project set up called Creating 3D Charts for Final Cut Pro in Keynote. So I just need to import my media. So I'll hit the Import button, I'll select my project, and I'll click Import. And there we go, we have our project. So let's drag that down to the timeline. I'm gonna press Shift-Z, or Z for you Americans, and that allows me to see the entire project. We can see it's 23 seconds in length. So, the first thing, before we key out that background, we need to have something to show through from behind. So in this case, I'm going to select my generators, I'm going to go to textures, and I'm just going to choose the default gradient background. That will do for the purposes of this demonstration. 
and I'm going to make sure it's the same length as my project. Now, from my effects browser, I'm going to select keying, and we'll see here we have the keyer. Just take the keyer and drop it directly on top of your project, and you'll notice the green background disappears immediately. And what we can see is our background for the generator underneath. Now we can change the position of the chart. Just move this back in a little. To anywhere we want on our slide, have it absolutely in the center. I'm going to jump back to the beginning. I'm just going to remove the space at the beginning that we don't need. So now if I press play, we have our 3D chart building onto our background. Now you'll notice there's about a two second pause between each of the, uh, the wedges as they build in. And that was those default settings from the movie that we clicked on at the end, just as we were exporting. That's a good place to stop. So we'll trim the chart back to there. And the same with our background. So we now have about 16 and a half second project. Now for me, that seems a little too long. So as I said, you can make the adjustments within Final Cut, but actually I, what I prefer to do is just to speed it up here. So I'm gonna speed that up to 2X. Again, I'm gonna bring the background in to the same length and I'll press play again. Now we have about a one second delay between each of the pie chart uh, wedges. And that's it, it really is that simple. This method works for just about anything you do in Keynote. If you add the green background, you can key it out later in Final Cut. And that way you can use all of the tools that Keynote has, and it has some wonderful simple animation tools. So you don't have to be a graphic designer. You can really make some fantastic things for your project really, really simply in Apple's Keynote. That's it, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to click, a, click the thumbs up and give it a like. And I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Thanks very much for your time. See you next time.